In this video, I'm going to show how to upload your code to Launchpad when you're done, with, done making a change. So here, I'm going to login.launchpad.net and I'm going to log in. If you don't have an account, you'll need to create one. And continuing. And yes, it asks me, is this really who you are? And I'm logged in. Okay. Now then, um, I want to go to the enchanting page, which is at https colon slash slash launchpad dot um, yeah, dot net slash enchanting. Okay, so here I can see that my user ID is Clinton Blackmore. And in fact, clicking on it will give me some details. Why not? We'll take a look at that. Um, one of the important things is you will need to make sure you've got some SSH keys in place. And uh, you should look up how to do that because you will need that in place for the computer to know, or for Launchpad to know who you are. Your computer sends it code and it uses SSH with some keys so that it knows who you are. Let's go back to the enchanting page. All right, so I've made a change to a branch and I want to upload it. Now then, uh, in these instructions on uploading a branch, I see that I have to tell, I have to issue these commands, bizarre launchpad-login and my user ID, and then I can do a bizarre push with a special format to create a local branch that's tied to the project. So this is what we want to do. So, since again, many of you would prefer the graphical tools, we will go Bizarre Explorer. And I'm just going to tack in an AND on a Unix-based system that will put the program in the background. And uh, we should see a little Python thing jumping up here. Here it comes. All right, here's Bizarre Explorer. And this is the one I want to work on, the trunk um, uh, for enchanting, which I recently checked out in a different video. And we'll just double click on it. And now I've done some work in enchanting um, and now I saved this image but that's no big deal because the image file itself is ignored and not in version control. But more importantly I went file and export to version control which takes a minute and puts all the files in the file system. And then if it's been a little while you hit refresh but since we just loaded up this data is fresh. It says these four files have been modified and this file is unknown to the system. It's been unversioned. So I'm going to add this file. I can click on the plus up here and it will ask me about it and alright I don't add a note here I just hit OK. Good it's been added and now I want to see what's changed so I hit this diff command and it brings up a window that shows me what differs. This would be easier to see in um, <clears throat> at a higher resolution. You can also view it as a unidiff if you like. Oh, and it's important to note that this is a filed out version of the squeak code. It does not necessarily um, the order isn't always the same, which is a little bit of a pain. So here we go. We can see that I've added an NXT compass sensor class to the object stream in the configuration added the compass sensor for the dialog it now returns the compass sensor that it didn't before this whole file is new the compass sensor file and at the end of the exporter we've added a bunch of blocks for the compass sensor and in the template we've told it to import the compass sensor file so all these changes are good and what I'd expect. I will close that. What I want to do is commit them and that will commit them to my local branch. So the branch is here on my computer. I should always put a name uh, or a description added uh, NXT compass sensor. Good. And I probably could check off the author, but I don't think that's terribly important. We will go OK. 
So that commits it to my local system and I'll close and everything's up to date. Now what I want to do is the push here as it was saying here we need to do the bizarre launchpad login user ID. You really only need to do that once per computer I think but we'll do it here. So I need to go to um, all commands because this isn't a command you do very regularly and I can just start typing and it will fill in here launchpad login and there's one parameter that's my username the username as we said shows up right here okay so I hit okay it runs the command and it's done. Uh, if there was an error, it would have appeared in this window here. And um, you will get an error if you haven't got your SSH keys in order. So now that I'm logged in there, uh, Launchpad knows who I am and I can do this push. But first, let's look at how that push command is worded. Bizarre push lp colon tilde user id slash project name slash branch name so let's put some stuff in there this is the command here well the user id is clinton dash blackmore the project name is enchanting and it's all lowercase and the branch name uh, why not added compass sensor so then my command if i was doing it on the command line which is a nice and easy way to do it will be bizarre push tilde dash or tilde clinton dash blackmore slash enchanting slash added compass sensor I'm gonna copy this location and instead of issuing this right from the command line we'll do it through bizarre explorer here's our push command we'll paste in the location let's see you might want to remember this is a default you might not um, there shouldn't be an existing directory. I don't think we'll want to overwrite. Create the path up to the branch if it does not exist. I don't know if we need to do that or not. I'll try OK. And here it's issuing bizarre push lp colon tilde clinton dash blackmore slash enchanting slash added dash compass sensor. And using default stacking branch. So it's it's just recording the differences from the trunk, which is a good thing. Otherwise, this would have taken several minutes. And we close it. And it's there now. Here, if we go back to the enchanting main page, uh, launchpad.net slash enchanting, and click on code, we can see here's the trunk, the main branch, LP enchanting. And here is the branch that I just pushed and created online. Good. Once you've done that, you should be able to let me know that your branch exists and then it is possible for me to merge the changes into my branch. Likewise, if there's been changes in the main branch, you can use the merge command here and um, we'll just merge from the trunk lp colon enchanting and um, we'll hit OK. And there has not been in fact any changes to the trunk so there won't be anything to merge as it says nothing to do but so get that far and tell me about the branch and I will look through the change I believe there's a mechanism for doing a code review on it and bring the changes in thank you very much and good night